Hello, welcome to this again. So like, iPads, right? This specifically is an iPad from 2020. But lately, Apple's been putting the same chips in iPads than they do in their computers. So understandably, people are saying, like, you got the same chips in here, you got an incredible form factor, why don't you just put macOS on this? And at WWDC this year, they just made iPadOS slightly more desktop-like. Sure, I guess that helps, but like, man. But you know, emulators exist that you can install on iPad. You can just emulate a computer that's running macOS. So that's what I'm gonna do. But first I have to do a bunch of stuff to actually install the specific version of the emulator on here. And all that's done at the desk that's over there. I'll be right back. It seems this Apple product continues the tradition of being so reflective that it's impossible to film. So to install the emulator is what I would say if this video didn't originally get a community guideline strike. All right, I've got the iPad here. And yep, we now have and UTM installed. Now I'm pretty sure I still have to open it through just because I need to be able to open it with JIT and that's the reason why I can't just use the App Store version of this app because I need to have JIT. What is the UTM gallery? Oh, uh, quick let's install Windows 7. So I want to create a new virtual machine and we need to emulate. I'm emulating other and my ISO image is... Where is the ISO I literally just downloaded? Oh there it is, okay. Now we are running low on storage already. That's going to be one of the main problems, is that this thing only has 32 gigabytes of storage, and this ISO file on its own is 8 gigabytes. I'm going to turn on legacy hardware. And speaking of hardware, we are actually running PowerPC and a Mac 99 based Power Mac with 1 gigabyte of RAM and 1 CPU core. Apparently requires a minimum of 9 gigabytes of available hard drive space, so I'll give it 10 just in case. I don't think I need a shared directory at the moment. Alright, save that. CPU is apparently needs to be... G4 and enforce multi-core and that will probably be good. So if I just uh, do that Oh, all right good start. Oh nice. All right. It seems the Resolution's a bit low for it to show the whole thing, but just yeah use English. Also the mouse is very finicky Mac OS X leopard installer. Okay. Uh, yep agree uh, Cool <laughs> something tells me it didn't make a disc does it even show up in like disk utility or anything? Yeah, it's got two 10 gigabyte Kimu hard disks. Can can you do anything with them, please? Yes, erase one of them, I guess. I don't know if it's a thing with the iPad touchscreen or with the emulator, but the mouse <laughs> sucks to control. Okay, yeah, that worked. Okay, yeah, there it is. Um, installing this software requires 12 gigabytes of space. Okay, uh, <laughs> all right, let me <laughs> reconfigure. Okay, give me this one. Yep, install. And now we're installing. Uh, I don't think you need to verify the disk. I, I would go up and skip it if the mouse actually moved. All right, and now we wait a hot minute. Oh, no. All right, what I worried would happen happened and I ran out of storage and the whole thing shot itself. What if I just try booting the uh, the thing anyway and just have like a, just a slightly incomplete install of macOS Leopard? It can't be that much. Oh, we're still booting off the DVD. Um, we'll stop that and boot off of this instead. No valid state has been set by load or init program. Okay. And I cannot type. Cool. Okay, time for plan B, I guess. I mean, either A, I find a different ISO file that's smaller, because the ISO file is like eight gigabytes, or B, I use the pre-made image that I've been sent. I'm gonna try looking for a smaller image. I'll be right back. All right, so I found an installer image that's just like two gigabytes smaller than the old one. So that should be enough to actually get this thing fully installed, which means I just have to run this whole thing again. Crashed again, that's real nice. Okay, same thing happened. Do you ever just completely forget to work on a thing for two weeks straight? Yeah, that's kind of what happened here. So currently this thing isn't working because either A, it's running out of storage right at the end of the installation process, or B, it runs out of RAM at the end of the installation process. Either way, it completely bricks the install. Now I do have an alternative method. The person who suggested this video in the first place sent me their pre-made virtual machine file. So I think I'm gonna use that other than trying to do a fresh install. All right, after quite a bit of struggling trying to get this file onto the iPad, it was quite a pain because like I tried
and then putting it into a zip file, which I didn't have enough space to unzip. Couldn't transfer it over lightning because you just can't do that. Tried using another Mac to airdrop it, it just didn't show up. So I ended up downloading iCloud on my main PC and buying the 50 gig like storage tier so I could put the file onto iCloud and then put it on my iPad from there. So now if I, I should be able to open this, yep. So if I open this, cool, nice. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna delete this file. I'm gonna go to my iCloud folder and I'm gonna separate the hard drive image from the actual virtual machine file because like it's usually like one combined thing, but I'm just gonna separate it. Okay, I've separated the two. Now in theory, if I open this and then I edit this so that I can import a drive and I use that one. Save, yep, I get it. <laughs> can I just delete this one? Can I please just like delete this? <sighs> So I can't delete the disk image from the thing. Lucky for me, I can edit the config file from outside of the thing. All right, one notepad plus plus later, and I think I've successfully murdered that drive listing. Yup, it's gone. Let me import uh, that drive, save. Cool, now give it a shot. Not exactly sure why they set the resolution to 720p on a 4x3 display, but eh. I also don't know why it's just been stuck here for the past like two minutes. Maybe it's trying to boot off of a CD that isn't there. Let me try like swapping these orders around. Well, goddamn. Oh, it's doing things. This better just be like verbose boot and not a kernel panic. Oh, we have a mouse cursor. All right, uh, I have no idea what the password is. All right, apparently the password is just H. Well, that worked. This is what I meant when I said it was used by someone else. <laughs> can I right click? I can. I can turn on magnification. Ooh, no. That's some good frame rate right there. Just open system settings. <laughs> so it is running in a pretty high resolution. Can I change the desktop wallpaper? I can set this as the wallpaper. All right, this works. Actually, can I lower the resolution a little bit just to make things a bit easier to see and also make things a little bit more performant? All right, cool, that works. Okay, I wanna try getting a video on here to see if it'll play. I'm gonna pause this. Uh-oh, we're low on RAM. It's probably gonna get closed. Okay, it's paused. Um, I'm gonna just close this. All right, I've just got an ISO file with the video file inside of it and I should be able to mount that. Oh, I can't edit this because it's paused. Ugh. Insert CD, that one. There it is. It's in ridiculously low resolution, just to give it a chance of working, but... Oh, trying... Oh, there it is! Sound is not working, despite the fact that it says we have audio. But that is the video in hilariously low resolution. Now, apparently, internet is supposed to also work, but I have my doubts. Oh no, we're running out of RAM. Oh, it's gone. It tried to system update. <laughs> no, I don't want software update. Oh no. Okay, it's connected over ethernet. That's probably why it's trying to software update. Oh God, it confirmed internet's working before I could. Okay, just let me see Google. No, please don't try to open apple.com. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's what I thought. Google.com works on like literally every single web browser known to existence, so. There it is. <laughs> I mean, they have, a, they have a YouTube bookmark. Let's give that a shot. It's trying to load the supported browsers page. But honestly, I don't even think it can load that. It's either gonna time out or we're gonna run out of RAM. Update your browser. <laughs> I wish I could scroll to the side so that I could actually see. Mmm, yes. Cool. Remind me later. It's trying to go to login? Why? Oh shoot, it actually loaded the sign-in page. I'm not gonna sign in, but uh, I'm surprised I got this far. Can I, can I just go back to Google and just search for something? J-I-G-A-T-E-C-H, go. There I am. Can I at least see like one thumbnail? Why is that the video that shows up first? That video sucks. Can I see any images? Yeah. Oh, hey, there's the Discord server, link in the description. Oh uh, yeah, there's the Diva controller. Good kid commented on that for some reason. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. And yep, I still have no idea how to play macOS chess.